I've just been marked up. I don't know if you can see, I'm not gonna go too far down, but it's all over me. So, basically just waiting now to be brought into the room and get my anesthesia. I gotta get back into this blanket. And yeah. Two hours later. I'm up. Just sitting up, they're monitoring my, my vitals, but I feel good. No pain meds yet. It's a little swing, it'll be like four or five out of 10. But to be honest, I feel fine. Still thirsty. So thirsty. Okay, so almost ready to be discharged. I'm sitting in a wheelchair. I feel fine. Arms are moving. I'm just waiting. Caroline's downstairs waiting for me. Do I have any pain meds in my system right now? I have pain meds in my system. Okay, so hi. Um, this is Caroline Cam on Alexis's vlog. I'm here to pick her up from surgery and I'm really scared because she's gonna be tired or feel ill. I don't know, but we're here, so let's go pick her up. Okay, so we're gonna get her. There she is. Hi. Thought I unlocked it. <laughs> Yay. And the seatbelt goes under your breast. Okay. Your arm. Okay. Thank you. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Take care. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. How do you feel? Honestly, I feel fine, but I don't know how much pain meds they've given me. My mouth is dry as fuck. Yeah, it sounds really fucking dry. Drink it water. I'm in the car. I had surgery. I'm alert. I'm good. My mouth is still dry, guys. Like, I need fucking water. They only gave me three cups because they're like, oh, there's a higher risk of you being nauseous in the car. We don't want to give you too much. I cannot wait to get home and just fucking chug. Thank you, Caroline, for being my person today. You're welcome. It's taken that I'm like filming. My hand is like up. Like, I'm good. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna have some water and a protein shake. And then. And then I'll update you guys later today on pain once these pain meds wear off. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So I know, it's so brutal. I'm home. I feel great, but they were very strict about me sitting down, laying down, doing absolutely nothing. I just weighed myself and I am six pounds heavier than I was this morning. I know it's swelling, but I would, you know, I'm just curious about the process. I have my waters. I have my protein shake. And I got my kombucha. My mouth is still dry though, this is fucking irritating. So I just thought I would do a quick update actually showing what it all looks like. They're super high. This is like the highest I've ever seen them. Are you okay? Yeah, look at how high they are. I told you that they looked higher. I hope they don't fall out like this. So this is my little grandma bra that I have to wear for like two weeks. And then I've got some shit. Looks like I was bleeding a little bit there. But thankfully, I do not have any tubes or anything in me because those are painful as fuck to take out. So I'm really happy about that. I've been home for maybe like an hour and a half-ish. I got out of surgery around two. Mm, and I still feel fine. Like, I don't want to go too high, but like, like this doesn't hurt at all. I was able to go to the bathroom by myself. Didn't need anyone to help me pull up and down my pants. Like I know some people struggle with, so. Oh, this one hurts a little more. But yeah, I still feel good. Everything's great. Okay, so it's 6 p.m. I have to take my first round of medications. These are all the things I have to take. One, two, three, four, five and six. It's eight o'clock and I'm getting a little peckish. I'm not allowed to have solid food apparently. It's just like liquids and like some toast and butter or whatever, but your girl don't eat toast or butter. So I've decided I'm gonna have a pickle. So delicious. Pulse be your And it's so good. Caroline's over here making ice cream. When she's done, she's gonna refill my water for me because 
I can't lift the Brita, it's too heavy. We got one of the giant ones. So I've already had um, about seven, 600, 700 milliliters of kombucha, a liter of water. Anyway, my throat's really dry. I'm gonna walk away. My throat is really dry. My throat <laughs> is really dry because of the anesthetic and the fact that I couldn't drink water for 14 hours. So I'm trying to drink as much of it as I can. Still not much pain. It doesn't even really feel like anything. Maybe a bruise. So Got it working. Oh my God. Banana and ice cream with PB. Delish. Oh my God, that looks so freaking it's weird, it's a midnight and I'm like not tired at all. And I don't know if it's because I technically had a two hour nap today during the surgery. I'm just going to watch some Netflix and chill and hopefully tire myself out. I still have no pain. I've had a little bit of vegetable soup from my meal prep. My throat is still slightly sore, um, but it's getting better. Just now I went to go brush my teeth and wash my face for bed and doing little things like tying up your hair so your hair doesn't get in your way when you're washing your face. I couldn't do because I can't lift my arm straight up. I can go parallel to my body. Maybe like that. This is when it starts to like, I can feel the stretch. So that was a little bit difficult. It's a movement you would like take for granted and not even realize. I haven't had to open any of the intense painkillers yet. I have my next round of meds at two in the morning. Morning. And we'll see what happens through the night. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe I'll wake up and the pain will hit me and I'll be so sore and need the super strong painkillers. But I'm hoping to not even need them tomorrow. Got my follow-up appointment. And yeah, see you later.